we're just gonna kind of start off with a distractive technique just to help open up the joint spaces and you can feel that with your back there's a lot more tightness on the right so we're going to emphasize opening up these joint spaces right here your x-ray shows the spine is pretty straight to the front but there is a little bit of a curve on that right hand side so as we open up that then what we'll do is lift the hips up so that way it puts pressure on the front of the spine One of the things you'll notice as a benefit is with a little bit more repetition, your spine will adapt to the adjustment a little bit easier. Um, and then I'll get you some updated exercises to do in the office. Bring your chin onto your chest, and we're gonna open it up. There we go, like that. Good. The other thing that we'll take a look at is if you are having tightness in your hips, there's a little bit of a discrepancy from left to right. So we'll start with just opening this ankle. This is based off of that motion study that we had taken of your neck to see how each of the joints move and there's a lot more restrictions at the upper portion than the lower one. With your neck being you know, in the opposite direction, it starts to put pressure on the joints which is where you'll see some of that uh, degeneration in the joint. So we're going to uh, get some movement in there 